Hi guys, Mr. Warren here. Today we're going to talk about how to modify a solid structure. In our last video we talked about how to take a two-dimensional sketch and create it or extrude it into a three-dimensional model. So if you're not sure of how to get to this point where we have a cube, go ahead and go back and watch video two. Uh, today I'm going to use the example of our sketch plane cube that we've been working on in class. If we scroll down here to the actual cube, you may have noticed that I've already created my cube, but we are missing the circle and the square on the sides and the hole in the top. So we're going to talk about how to modify that original cube shape to get those three elements onto our cube. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and select the view that we want to start with. I'm going to start with the circle, so I'm going to select the front panel. I can also come over here to the graphics cube and click front. Once I've selected that panel, I'm going to right click, which brings up a menu options, and I'm going to click new sketch. And once I've selected a new sketch, it'll allow me to draw new sketches, two-dimensional sketches, on this portion of the cube. So I need to create a circle. I'm going to come up and click create a circle, and put my circle in. We know from our dimensions, that our circle is one inch. So I'm going to put in my one inch circle. And now we need to make sure our circle is centered on that side of our cube. So I'm going to stay in the dimension function. I'm going to click the top of my circle and I'm going to come up to the top bar of the cube and it's currently at 0.992 inches. I'm going to click and change that to one inch. So now I've got one inch from the top of the cube to the start of my circle. I need to do the same thing from the side of my circle to the side of my cube. And I'm pretty close, but not quite there. So let's just put in one and enter. Now I've got my two-dimensional circle sketch on top of our cube. So we're ready to go. We're going to come up and click Finish Sketch. And now I need to extrude that circle out a half an inch so it bumps out from my cube. So we're going to come over here and use the extrude function, select the circle because that's what I want to extrude from the cube. And we do not want it to be extruded two inches. We want 0.5 or half an inch. So we'll go 0.5, enter. And now if I grab my cube, we can see that I have created a circle put it in place on top of the cube and extruded it out. So we also need to do that but with a square on the side. So we're going to go ahead and click our right side view. Okay, we'll Right click on top of that frame and select new sketch. I'm going to follow the same basic idea here using uh, the ribbon and the dimension tool. So we'll go ahead and select rectangle click once, click twice, and then go to the dimension function. I know I have a one inch by one inch rectangle, so we'll make those changes first. And you can see that my rectangle is nowhere near in the center of my cube, so we need to go ahead and dimension that as well. Click once on the top of the rectangle, or the square now, and once on top of the cube, click and it'll allow me to dimension this to the right place. Whoops, that is incorrect. I need to dimension half an inch. Ooh, cancel. And 0.5. So that's a good lesson in not dimensioning correctly. If I have that, inc that dimension incorrect, you are able to see that I can just click on the dimension and it'll allow me to edit that dimension. And so now we need to go from the side of the square to the side of the cube. That should also be half an inch. Okay. Now everything's centered. My square is centered in my cube. I'm ready to click Finish Sketch and then extrude that cube out, or excuse me, that square out half an inch from the cube. Okay. And now if we change our view, we have our square. So we'll cover the whole in our next video. We're running out of time. Uh, so that's where we'll pick up next. See you soon.